Hello. Good afternoon. This is Reagan winging you your online business tip of the day. And I hope you enjoyed that new intro. I am experimenting still with how to do Facebook Live videos as I am not an expert at these. But hopefully you're enjoying this series and I've been getting a lot of value out of my online business tips of the day. And today I'm going to be sharing six tips uh, for building a huge, six strategies, I think this is the actual title, six strategies for building a huge downline for your network marketing business. So um, these are all strategies that um, we've actually used, specifically um, my mom, as she's the one who is kind of, who started the business and then I've kind of joined in and the rest of our family kind of joined in and kind of expanded it into a family business. Um, so these are tips I've learned from her and then also just from other experts um, that have kind of been doing this, the same things. And um, so uh, these definitely work. Our team is, um, I think we're at close to 4,500 now in our downline, if not more. Um, I can't remember right now how many we have, but it's a pretty big team. And so these are six tips that, uh, and strategies that um, we've used and others have used to build their network marketing businesses, their direct sales downlines. So the first one, and this is one that we're still actually struggling with, but um, have been getting better at, is uh, protecting your time. So uh, the common mistake is when you are uh, the first level in your uh, business, you can't, the, the common struggle is to try and help everyone in your downline. So even down to like the fourth, fifth, um, and so on levels down. And the problem with that is you're only one person and you don't have the time to help everybody. So you really have to uh, work to protect your time and you can't you know, answer everyone's questions or reply to everyone's messages. And it's kind of a hard thing to do is, um, to kind of turn people down sometimes. But what you do instead is you create a system where your other people, your other level ones, um, they help, um, you train them how to help other people and how to answer the questions as if they were you. So then they train the people below them, which would be your level two, and they train them the same way to be able to answer all those questions and then you teach them how to train the people beneath them. So everyone is working on down and so that way uh, people don't need to come to you then anymore. They don't need to come to you to ask you questions um, to help to help them with, with you know policy issues or um, you know questions that you've answered time and time again. And so if you train your whole team to take care of that then you don't have to be the one, you know, doing that all the time, you delegate that to other people. So that's the first uh, strategy. And then number two is to, uh, this is kind of a uh, counterintuitive uh, strategy, but it's to help, other, other, help others first. And this is something that my mom has especially done very well at is um, a lot of times she's even uh, helped, tried to help use her business to help others um, in ways that seem actually um, counterproductive, counter um, against that actually hurt her um, in terms of uh, financially. But um, like time and time again, though, it's actually led to even more um, personal success. So um, it just goes to show that a lot of time, especially with network marketing and direct sales, it's kind of set up that if you seek to help others, you're going to benefit um, as well. Sometimes you won't, but um, in the long run, it all, it all pays off. Um, an example of, of this is for a lot of network marketing businesses, it helps you more in the short run if you have more people in your, uh, first, in your, in your uh, first line, or your first tier down, because then you make more off of them. So there can be a tendency to want to put more people in your first line and not uh, move new enrollees to other people farther down your downline because you won't make as much off of them. But that's only in the short term because in the long run, 
if that helps those people farther below you to um, promote up, then that can help you uh, help your bottom line too, because then that they end up making more money for you. So, um, but sometimes that's not the case, but sometimes um, it can help, um, it doesn't help you in a financial way, but it helps, helping others is just a great thing to do, and um, it builds loyalty and respect and trust, and really just helps your your business as a whole. So definitely always be looking out for others first before you um, try to help yourself. So that's kind of counterintuitive, but it works. So definitely do that if you want to uh, build yourself a large downline. Number three is to never push, never be pushy, never um, push someone to buy or to sign up or uh, to promote or to meet any kind of sales goal or anything. Just don't, don't be pushy. Don't do that. No one likes that. And that's where network marketing and direct sales and all these other terms are the same thing they kind of this is where they all kind of get um bad rep and it's because there's a lot of people that are really pushy and like i've had people message me on facebook like they never talk to me ever except to promote their business you know to me so it's like so it's obviously they only see me as you know money to them like someone that can potentially make them money so uh you never want to do that um first of all it's not going to help the person you're trying to get to make more money. It's not going to, it's not going to help uh, your customer buy. It's not going to help someone enroll. They're not going to want to enroll. Um, it's not going to help someone who um, might be interested in promoting to want to promote. When you put that pressure on someone, it just creates a negative experience, um, both with you and the biz- their business. So don't ever be pushy. Instead, um, you want to focus on what's best for them rather than what's best for yourself. Uh, Keith, so you were saying that there are certain times it is okay to push. Sometimes you just have to be pushy, right? Nope, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying the opposite of that. It's, there's never, it's never okay to push. Never, ever push anybody. Never be pushy. And any other iterations or rephrasings of that sentence that you want to apply. So never never be pushy. And instead, just focus on uh, what is best for whoever that individual is you're trying to help. And um, rather than pushing, focus, help, help them refocus on why they signed up, what their goals were, um, what are they, why would they want to um, try and promote? How would that help them? And it could be um, it's not right for them to promote at a certain point in time. It would it would not be helpful to them. So even if it's beneficial for you, it might not be beneficial for them. And so you always, again, going back to the last point, you always want to help others first. So although it could be the case that when you talk to them and you help them, you know, focus in on their goals and you approach them more, you come alongside them as a helper versus um, an opponent trying to get something from them, but you come alongside them as a friend and you look and see, okay, um, here's what's possible. Um, here's what you can gain. Here's what the cost is. And you let them choose um, what's best uh, for them. My battery is running low on my phone down to 10%. So I have to try to hurry this up. Um, so yeah, don't don't be pushy. Um, but instead, uh, look out for what's best for others and help them achieve uh, the goals that they want to achieve and their goals might be different from your goals. They might not want to make a full-time income. They might not want to um, build a huge team. Um, and the same thing for customers too. Um, maybe they've, they're not, they just don't have it in their budget right now to, to buy from you. But um, so yeah, always phrase it, you know, how your product, maybe they, they really could use your product. So don't be afraid to tell people about your product. Don't apologize for telling people about your product if your product's really good and can help people. But yeah, avoid being pushy. Don't ever try to push other people, but instead focus on what's best for them. And uh, moving on to strategy number four is teach. So you'll want to teach um, people in your downline what you're learning for how to be successful online. So you want others, the other people in your team, to be as successful um, as you are, or more successful even, 
Um, you want to help them achieve their goals, whatever their goals are, you want to help them achieve those. So um, definitely set up, you know, a group or a Facebook group or some other, um, any whatever is best for you and always be teaching and training um, people in your downline and making them, uh, setting them up to be as successful as possible. And this will, um, your, down, your team will definitely appreciate you for this and um, will definitely have more success and sign up more people themselves and help you build your team and make your team larger. Um, and strategy number five is to recognize um, those who are successful. Give recognition to other people. Don't, um, don't constantly be talking about yourself, but instead focus on others and uh, show what good things other people on your team are doing. Um, you can even post maybe if you have like a Facebook group for your team, uh, you can post who that uh, you know who are leading in sales for that month or whatever, and just always uh, point out good things that other people are doing. It doesn't have to be even financial. Just any good things people are doing to stay positive and recognize others because that people like to be recognized for for things they're doing, and that also um, keeps them motivated and inspires them and makes them want to go out and do even more. And uh, it makes other people want to go out and do better so that they can also be recognized. So, again, all, this is kind of the common thing through all this is you want to keep the focus on others and people on your team rather than uh, yourself. And then finally, uh, step number, strategy number six is to invest. Um, invest in yourself and in your team. And uh, this is kind of, I've talked about this in previous videos, uh, to always invest in yourself, to always be learning yourself so that you can give you have more to give to your team, always be learning. And um, on uh, something recently that came out for us that we're looking to invest in is the uh, social media recruiter uh, training course that recently came out um, by uh, EMP, Elite Marketing Pro. Um, and they uh, combined with uh, Julie Burke, who uh, is a, who uh, has a lot of, had a lot of success growing her team online. So uh, this is kind of a new course that we're pretty excited about and we're looking uh, into, and I'll post a link uh, to this course. It's all about how to uh, recruit and build a team online through social media. Uh, so I'll post a link to this uh, course in the description of this. Um, I'm not endorsing it at this time because we haven't gone through the course yet, but it looks looks really good. You can check it out yourself and see if it's something that you'd like to invest in and it's something that we're looking to invest in ourselves. So uh, definitely check that out. And uh, if you... Um, but that, that aside, there's also many other ways you can invest in yourself. You know, always be learning, reading, listening to podcasts, following Coastal Conservatory, you know, watching these videos, and just always looking to learn and improve and pass that on to your team. So that's my uh, online biz tip of the day. And to uh, I'll, uh, sum that up, or I'll um, give you a summary again of those uh, six strategies. Number one is to protect your time. Number two is to help others first. Number three is to never push. Don't be pushy. Number four is to teach. Number five is to recognize others. And number six is to invest in yourself and your downline. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and share. And if you have any questions, uh, just uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow, I guess. I didn't think about tomorrow being Thanksgiving. I probably, probably should still do a video. I'll still do a video tomorrow. And so I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye.